good evening and good morning wherever you are in the art world. The art talks are delighted to be uh, tonight with uh, Beatrice Bourdon from ba Brafa or the Bruxelles Art Fair, uh, which is one of the largest running art antiques fairs in the world and is organized every year by the non-profit Belgian Antique Fair Association. So we are with Beatrice Bourdon. Hello, uh, welcome Hello, uh, to the art talk and who is the managing director. So, and uh, thank you so much. It's an honor for us to have you tonight. I know how busy you were and it's That's a pleasure. Really not... So Beatrice, can you tell us a bit about Brafa? Uh, oh, Brafa is a wonderful fair. It's one of the oldest in Europe, uh, dating from 1955. And um, Brafa has really solid bases that you can remark because we, it's the 67th uh, edition and it's always in Brussels uh, because it's the capital of Europe also and so we become international end of the 90s, beginning of the 2000s and uh, for the moment this year there are 115 dealers from 15 countries. So uh, like you know it's a, li a little bit busy in June with fairs so we are very happy with that. And also uh, uh, the venue, we changed the venue this year, so it's really exciting. I heard, I heard, and uh, and uh, of course, it's uh, what is dis distinguished Brafa is the its diversity and uh, its cross collecting. So yeah, I think it's, exactly. uh, it's a very eclectic fair, going from archaeology uh, through the Middle Ages, Renaissance, 17th, 18th century, uh, French, Mobilier. Uh, Art Deco, Art Nouveau, modern paintings, uh, sculptures, so it's very, very eclectic. So it's it's nice because it's um, for each, you know, there are different tastes and you can discover if you're a specialist of your collecting uh, modern pa paintings, you can have, find a very nice uh, little Greek uh, uh, sculpture. So yes. that's nice things because we don't work with sections at the fair. We really try to mix all the books. Fantastic. As I said, I would have, you know, I tonight is also a special night because it's a, it's a up to 10 o'clock in the evening. Yeah, it's a late evening and so that's also, also nice because it's very nice the weather in Brussels. It's not always like that. And so uh, you can see the people are relaxed, walking, uh, they enjoy. You can, that's the most important also thing. Also after these two years, you can see people, uh, they enjoy their visit at Guarfa, sure. Wonderful. And uh, Beatrix, before, because I know you're very busy, uh, and again, for us, it's an honor to have you a couple of minutes. But tonight, you are, uh, so the fair is going to be up to Sunday for everybody in case they can Yes, it's still enjoy. Sunday, 26. So it's a, not a long fair, but it's a, a classical fair uh, during, open for the public during eight days. And that gives the opportunity to everybody to visit us um, because you know, it's a lot of work. It's one year work to build everything up. So I think it's nice to be there also during the eight days. Fantastic, fantastic. As I said, and some highlights before I go on with Paolo Repetto, who was so kind to call us. Uh, any highlights that you would like to tell us that we, well, for the audience that cannot the, be there? For the Belgian people, uh, they're a beautiful Bruegel because, you know, we are, in Belgium country, so old masters. Um, you have a basquiat totally at the other side. So really, you, you, there's really for everybody, uh, for each collector. And that's really nice, I think. Wonderful. Thank you, Beatrix. Thank okay. you again. And have a wonderful, wonderful evening. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. And hopefully see you very soon in person. Yeah. In, in <laughs> real life, yeah. Thank you. Grazie. Bye, Beatrix. So we are jumping to Paolo. Paolo, how are you? Ciao, ciao. Fine, fine. Thank you. Thank you. So Paolo, Paolo is going to guide us through his wonderful book in Brafa and through Christos, uh, wonderful works from Christos to Pistoletto, Melotti, Fontana, Scarpe, Mathieu. So uh, Paolo, uh, we can't wait. But could you tell us a bit uh, how you feel in in Brafa? Uh, how was it, and uh, your impressions? 
The fair is very beautiful, a lot of uh, variety, you know, from old master to contemporary art like uh, yes. uh, Christot and, uh, and uh, other. As uh, you can see, we have this huge Christot, the surrounded island in Miami. And um, uh, I can uh, speak uh, something about this uh, masterpiece. Can yes, you please. read the Surrounded Highland project for Biscayne Bay, etc.? The marvelous uh, color, the, the projects in uh, two uh, in two pieces, and uh, for us uh, the the fair start very good, uh, good uh, business, and uh, the other days uh, and just uh, from now mm, few people, because you know a lot of fair uh, contemporary. Uh, due to the COVID problem and uh, Basilea yes. Bar, Basel and uh, the tomorrow Tefaf, Maastricht, etc. But uh, I think that uh, the fair is very, very, very good. And uh, we have uh, this huge uh, crystal, but uh, uh, others uh, like uh, this. Uh, um, a small one, two pieces, and in this case is another team that is uh, over the river, a project as you know not uh, realized, but very refined, very beautiful because there is um, painting the the photo of the folds and the writing and the, the map, and even this uh, this one. And uh, we have that is very rare because the trees, the cover, and uh, Christo uh, didn't have the permission to do this uh, project. Uh, no, this is very interesting because uh, the project uh, is uh, 69, 1969. And uh, Christo and Jean Claude didn't have the permission of, uh, in the Champs Elysees, the Mary mm -hmm. of uh, Paris. And uh, as you know, he realized the same uh, idea, the, the trees uh, cover, in uh, Basel uh, years uh, later. And this is very interesting because uh, you can see there is the the, the plastic, the, the, the material that covered the, the, the tree. And okay. uh, we have another work of uh, Christo, and that one the, with the tissue, quite uh, rare. And uh, this is the storefront project for 1965. Uh, so, sorry, I, I have not the, the kufie. I don't know in English. The, and, and, yes, the head, uh, <laughs> so we have uh, at the beginning in our boat we have the start with uh, with Christo, and then we have uh, the a part dedicated to Pistoletto. We have uh, some uh, pieces. <coughs> uh, the most important, maybe, is the auto portrait of uh, Pistoletto. That one. Very summary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with the sun fur. fur yes. yes. Uh, the cat. And, and, uh, but uh, Paolo, Paolo, I, I love the store. You know, your booth is so beautiful, but it also, you know, shows a bit uh, brava. Can you can you, can you see can you show us a bit ar around beyond uh, before coming into Pistoletto? It looks yes. really yes in a outside. It's so beautiful. Be, 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 begin with the outside like that. You mean yes, fantastic, yes. fantastic, bello. Yes. And, and and then overview, you know. And the very interesting, the, uh, quite rare, is these um, works by um, uh, Carlos Carpa, the architect. I love it so much. I like it so much. And, it is. 
Uh, do you do you like it? I like I, it so I, much. It's it's beautiful, wonderful. But he, 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 if you can show us how he moves a little bit closer, yes. And yes. I love the the light, the light uh, game with with yes. the lighting. But yes, uh, and you see, it's a bit uh, inclined, like a planet, you know. Like yes. the Hurt or the other planets in the, the universe. And uh, it's in iron and steel with some gold in this part. Can you see it? Yes. Uh, yes. With, with the base. And we did an exhibition um, of uh, Carlos Carpa some years ago in our gallery in, uh, in London. Yes. Uh, the, the glasses of Benini before uh, some Cavallini and uh, and uh, and Cetra. and uh, we have it, look, it looks like an, an alveare a, a gigantic uh, 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 exactly brava yeah. brava exactly Perfectimo. yes very yes. nice yes and now uh, can you see uh, we have uh, uh, in this part of our boot a dialogue uh, between uh, Melotti and uh, Fontana, as mm -hmm. you can see. Uh, this is important because in Italian art, the, the best ceramist uh, um, from the 15 years uh, are uh, this dialogue between <coughs> Uh, Melotti and, uh, and Fontana are the most important ceramists. This is a um, vase, a vase of, uh, of Melotti with some color, uh, very beautiful, yes. like an informal, an informal painting. And um, in this case, we have the, the Cristo Crocifissione, you know, the Cristo is uh, yes. the Baroque period of Fontana. You can see the stylized uh, head and the, the arms and the, the body in this uh, part. And uh, of course, uh, by Fontana, the truth, this one, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, that one, uh, Fontana. Because the, uh, the, the first period of uh, Fontana is Baroque, and then is a minimal one with the cats and uh, the true. And then continues the, the boot with uh, two vases of Melotti, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can see the material. Mm. Bellissimo. Uh, very, a lot of painting, a lot of uh, de decoration mm -hmm. outside. And, uh, of course, the caps. We have three caps. Uh, the gold one, the blue one, mm. and uh, yeah. this it's one. Delicate. And uh, the dialogue continues with the battle of uh, Fontana uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the Baroque period. Uh, you can distinguish some, some people, some person here. And it's very Baroque. Uh, one and uh, in Melotti, sometimes we have uh, some domestic uh, uh, ceramic. I mean, uh, the, the cap can can you use this one? So there, there is the conjunction between the art and the practice one and the teiera, you know. It's and, it's, uh, a, it's a very big booth, uh, really large and beautifully uh, choreographically set really thank, thank you this is of course brass a classic sculpture of uh, of uh, melotti contrapunto and uh, this is a typical uh, uh, work of melotti inspired by music the idea of uh, point uh, counter against the point and uh, the material is uh, brass and uh, we have uh, this uh, musical idea, uh, empty in this case and uh, full, that uh, re return in this case full, uh, empty, sorry, full, and etc. And we have uh, another theme that could be this one that uh, 
repeat this idea in this. Uh, so, like uh, Paul Klee, in the in Fausto Melotti, we have uh, some many works inspired by the the music, but um, never a translation, a mm -hmm. fidelity of translation, but a sort of transfiguration and inspiration by the. The, the music. As I said, the, the other part of our book is dedicated to <laughs> Pistoletto, and uh, it's uh, an artist that uh, we have uh, from uh, 30 years began my father to work with uh, Pistoletto. Pistoletto is, is you know, with uh, this steel uh, mirror, is steel. The material is not uh, glass, but is uh, steel. And it's very important, the idea, the, the conceptual one, because uh, Pistoletto wrote that uh, with this idea of the mirror, he broke the staticity of the traditional uh, uh, painting, the traditional uh, uh, quadro uh, painting and uh, so the idea of uh, conceptual is not anymore this sense uh, of the, the painting this one and the the the, the profond la profondità yes. but even the, the time so uh, uh, the, uh, it's very important this uh, new concept of Pistoletto because in, for the first time from 1962 Pistoletto is the, the, have this, uh, this uh, idea of the, the time the four dimension you see? <laughs> yes uh, uh, the, the, the quadro uh, change change with the light uh, change with the 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 movement in uh, in this case my movement yes i i Every think time... paolo, paolo i love this it, they're very intimate because usually what i i've been seeing in the other fairs they are quite impressive you know they're huge the pistoletto but these these are very intimate and you know you can actually um, as I said, now we can see you, and uh, it's it's uh, engaging us to to see. It's all a game, which is beautiful. We actually, we, yes, we... yes, it's it's very beautiful. Yes, and uh, uh, every time uh, the the um, the main uh, surface is steel, and there is a serigraphy. In this case, is uh, uh, his wife Maria that's sewing. Mm -hmm. a, a, in the other case, in that one, there is the panistesia. I don't know in English. Can you <laughs> ask me? Panistesia. Hang, hanging clothes. Yes. yes. Clothes. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, can you see? Uh, yes. This is very funny, funny uh, idea. Most, and, more, uh, more no, veramente super interessante. I never actually I never seen this this uh, subject before. This one is the questo è bello. Questo. I love I love questo, this one. Yes, more emblematic of uh, of pistoletto, the auto portrait. But another one very important is that one eh? because we have a key. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have uh, the idea of the third uh, paradise. Mm -hmm. As you know, uh, Pistoletto, uh, the, the last, one of the last, uh, the, the main important work of Pistoletto is the, the, the third uh, paradise. The idea is very important. In Pistoletto there is a, uh, uh, every time uh, a very important idea about the, the, com the, uh, the concept. And uh, the idea in Pistoletto is there is that one is the paradise of the Genesis, uh, Adam and Eve, uh, the, the, the real paradise. Yeah. Then uh, Pistoletto said there is um, this, uh, the second paradise, the technology one, and the, the modernity, and the utopia. But uh, we must uh, find uh, a synthesis 
the uh, a conjunction between the Janssen paradise, paradise and the, the technology one. And the third uh, uh, circle, this one, is uh, the combination between the two. One, two, three. And the most important for Pistoletto is uh, to, to realize this new idea from an ancient paradise, uh, the lost paradise from uh, Adam and Eve and uh, the, 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 the technology one. The five works. One, the, the mirror in the mirror, mm -hmm. that one. In the yes. That wow. are edition, not a unique uh, piece. Uh, it depends. Uh, for example, this one is an edition of uh, 300. Uh, Maria that sewing is an edition of only eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Panistesi, I don't remember. We can see edition, uh, can you see, of uh, 60. Oh, so, wow. But you know that I've never seen it before, I think. Only yes, it, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, rare. And then uh, we have some uh, painting I can show you. Maybe the most ah, important but, is that okay, one okay. of uh, Mathieu. Okay. Uh, one of the most important uh, painting in uh, Europe. Uh, and the date is very important because uh, it's from uh, 58. And uh, as you know, Mathieu is very important because there is the sort of battle between the artist and uh, with the canvas. And uh, yeah. as uh, show some videos and uh, many photographs, uh, Mathieu was a sort of uh, spadaccino, I don't know in English, uh, mm -hmm. uh, work uh, like uh, uh, Muscatel. A, and a, the a fence, a yes, it's, but it's a very theat theatrical one, and the color is used uh, very heavy. Can you see? The material of the, of the yes of the, uh, of the color by Mathieu. We have uh, another work I can show you that one an uh, horizontal one, and uh, it's um, the same um, idea. But in this case, uh, we have uh, the color. Uh, we have some variety, of course. And this is uh, Georges Braque, mm -hmm. Lemon. It's a very beautiful painting from the 39. Beautiful Citron. Yes. Citrons, yes. And uh, Georges Braque is very beautiful, this yellow mm. dialogue with this uh, green. Can you see the signature and the date? Yes. Uh, maybe 39. Yes, beautiful. And uh, this is an Italian painter that uh, died some, uh, my, who was my friend, died some years ago. Is a Salvo. I mm -hmm. don't know if you know this yellow and the yellow of uh, black. The author is, uh, can you see, Salvo. Hey. Talbot, so, uh, uh, Paolo, Paolo, uh, how many pieces you brought into into the book? How many pieces? Yes, from different. Uh, I we have uh, five uh, or six artists for 30, 30 works. Mm. Right. Mm. Uh, approximately. We have another important art room. That one, uh, another important, uh, I mean, uh, informal artist. This is important because the date is uh, 57. Mm -hmm. And I, Pastor, and I, an untitled uh, work by Hans uh, Art room. And um, we have also. <coughs> The, another art room, that one, the Bello. date is uh, 87, yes, 
it is and a... we have Hank, a German mm. artist with these uh, colors, very brilliant. His material very, very intense. And we have even uh, some Carla Cardi. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes. yes. Carla Cardi, black and uh, white. Uh, the date is uh, 96. And uh, we can enter in the, the outside, very outside of the boot, another Carla Cardi, that one. Mm. That one, one, very refined, very elegant. And uh, another uh, Cristo, mm, uh, just sold, and this is the series of uh, the umbrellas that he made uh, the yellow one uh, in Japan, the series in Japan, in Japan, the city in the United uh, States. And uh, we have another Melotti. Mm. The little caps for the coffee, it's very funny. Can you see? See, more It's a CD. I, I love it because the, the, there is the conjugation between the practice, domestic one, and, uh, and the, the art. Yes. And the very, very funny is the, the cube alphabet. In this case, the melody, a brass. Uh, as you can see, in, in this work, uh, we have all the alphabet. A, B, C, D, M, V, etc. It's very beautiful. All the alphabet in a, in a cube form, very light. It's an edition, I, I, I remember, uh, of, of 20, of brass, uh, like gold, you know. And another base of Melotti, the blue one. Another one, this one. Mm -hmm. And the last but not least, we have this um, artist. Uh, the name is Dio. And no, la, uh, I said last but not least, uh, we have yes. this uh, contemporary artist, Italian artist. The name mm -hmm. is Diodato. Can you tell us a bit about uh, the Repetto Gallery? So, Repetto Gallery for everybody was founded in 2007. And it's a modern, a contemporary art. Because the Brexit is a problem uh, for the taxes, uh, import, yes. export, uh, movement of the work of art. And we are sorry, but we must uh, move. And we open a new gallery, a new space in Lugano, in uh, Switzerland. Fantastic. That uh, will open in next uh, fall. Oh. Uh, September or uh, October, I, uh, I think October, yes, next uh, October. Fantastic, fantastic. Mm. And, and, and we are very glad, very happy, because for us uh, it's a very good fair, I mean, for the, the business, the, 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 the sale. And you know, every fair is quite different, because some galleries uh, work, uh, other doesn't work uh, and uh, it's very it's a lot of uh, variety but for us is a very good uh, fair i mean for the business uh, the quality is very high and i love so much the i repeat because we can start from old master and this is uh, this dialogue between uh, ancient art uh, objects and contemporary art. Fantastic. I, I have to say this uh, view of, uh, of uh, Biscayne Bay, uh, it's beautiful with, with Cristo that we finish, we started with Cristo and we finished with him. It's, uh, it's uh, extraordinary, you know, from far away also, this, uh, this colors. Yes, yes, it, it's very beautiful, very beautiful. And uh, we sold it and we are really, very, very glad. Very oh, so but... it's it's a very important artist. Uh, you know, it's a conceptual artist, uh, and uh, the real work uh, disappeared because uh, lasts only for a fortnight and uh, so on. 
but to remain uh, the maquettes, the, the project, in this case, uh, this project. And uh, so we have the conjunction, very important in Cristo, uh, a conceptual art, but the products uh, remain uh, an object very domestic, uh, very simple, very easy to appreciate. And so uh, I think that in this conjugation, we have uh, the huge success of uh, Cristo. For inviting us and for, you know, giving us such wonderful works, really beautiful. Thank you. Thank we you can feel you. your your passion, Paolo. Your passion is extraordinary. Thank you so much. We can finish with Carlos Carpa. The, si. case, the, the title is Grow Like a Plant. I love it so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 Bellissimo. Super. <laughs> see you. Can we see you on Sebai? <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> Ciao. To the Art Talks and the Art Talk community, you can, we can say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for every, every all your team being so wonderfully uh, supportive and flexible <laughs> in this moment. Grazie. Ciao Paolo, a presto. Ciao, oh, thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye. Buonasera.